What is going on? What is popping, YouTube world? My name is Jamal McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right about now to does help these videos get to the public and my channel to grow overall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly, and I'm going to say every single day if I can, and turn on post notifications too, so you do not miss a single one of those videos that I post. It is only right you guys Eli Manning has officially retired you know and I want to talk about Eli Manning today and I want to talk about his status as far as the Hall of Fame goes a lot of people are split in the middle with this I've heard some some NFL analysts on TV talk about how they feel that Eli Manning is not a Hall of Famer I've heard some people tell me that he's a first ballot Hall of Famer I've heard some people tell me he's one of the most overrated quarterbacks in NFL history and I feel that a lot of people think that he's one of the most underrated quarterbacks in NFL history so where do I fall on the Eli Manning Hall of Fame perspective is he a Hall of Famer is he not to answer that question if Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer or not my answer to you is yes 100% I do not have to think twice about it Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer and today I will dispute all the arguments against Eli Manning and tell you why I believe Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer indeed so look I'm gonna say this right now Eli Manning is not an elite quarterback. He's not in the GOAT conversation, okay? He's not top 10 all time. He's not top five all time, okay? Eli Manning is not Peyton Manning. He's not Drew Brees. He wasn't as talented as Aaron Rodgers. He wasn't as talented as John Elway. Same with Brett Favre. He's not Tom Brady, obviously, okay? Heck, in my opinion, Eli Manning is not even as talented as Russell Wilson. If I'm gonna start a team, I might take Russell Wilson over Eli Manning today, right now, okay? And I understand that Eli Manning has zero. Yes, I repeat, I am aware Eli Manning has zero MVP votes throughout his entire career. He never got a single MVP vote. That's crazy. 16 years, no MVP, no MVP votes, okay? He has a career 117 and 117 record. He played 16 seasons and he missed the playoffs 10 times. I'm aware of all of those things. But the reason why Eli Manning is a Hall of Famer to me, there's a couple reasons. Eli Manning quietly put up great numbers. He's top 10 to top seven in almost every statistical category that matters at the quarterback position. He's top seven in touchdown passes. He top seven in yards thrown at the quarterback position. He's top 10 in completions, okay? This guy, Eli Manning, was consistent. He was durable. And for 16 years in his career, he never missed a start due to injury. He's the most durable quarterback of all time. You cannot tell the story of the NFL without Eli Manning. This guy won two Super Bowls and beat Tom Brady and the New England Patriots twice. And one time, he knocked off the New England Patriots when they were undefeated. When we look back at, on NFL history, we are going to have to talk about those games, those Super Bowls, that Eli Manning beat Tom Brady and Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots in. Those throws to David Tyree, those throws to Mario Manningham, those clutch throws, those game-winning drives, we have to talk about those things when it comes to NFL history. If I'm telling the entire story of the NFL, I can't leave Eli Manning out of NFL history. He beat the dynasty. He beat the New England Patriots twice. He won two Super Bowl MVPs. And listen, if Eli Manning had won Super Bowl, I, would, I could argue he's probably not a Hall of Famer because you get guys like Joe Flacco, one Super Bowl. Nick Foles, one Super Bowl. Okay, you, you won one Super Bowl, Eli Manning. All right, what you got for me now? This guy, Eli Manning, is one of five NFL players in history. Only five players have done this, guys. Only five NFL players in history have won two Super Bowl MVPs. Drew Brees isn't one of them. Peyton Manning is not one of them. Aaron Rodgers isn't one of them. And John Elway is not one of those guys. And you keep telling me that Eli Manning is not better than those quarterbacks. And I agree. He's not better than those quarterbacks. But Eli Manning deserves to be in the Hall of Fame just based off his playoff resume alone. The fact that he's one of five players to win two Super Bowl MVPs and guys like Aaron Rodgers and Peyton Manning and Drew Brees and John Elway haven't, haven't even won two Super Bowl MVPs in their career, that's impressive. And listen... There's this common theme that Eli Manning got carried to those two Super Bowls. Really? 
Eli Manning won two of those Super Bowls with not great teams. The Giants, those two years he won the Super Bowl, they were 10 and 6 and 9 and 7. One of those years, I believe they were a wild card team. They may have been a wild card team the second time around. I forget, but either way, nine win and 10 win teams are not great. These are two of the worst teams to ever enter the playoffs, and Eli Manning won them a Super Bowl, okay? And along the way, in those two playoff runs, you know who Eli Manning beat? He beat Tony Romo and the 13-3 Dallas Cowboys. He beat the 13-3 Green Bay Packers with Brett Favre on their team as quarterback, okay? He beat the 15-1 Green Bay Packers, led by MVP Aaron Rodgers one year. He beat the 13-3 San Francisco 49ers with that great lead defense on the road. He beat Matt Ryan as well, if I'm gonna throw that in there too, okay? He beat Tom Brady twice, okay? And let's also not forget this, guys. Eli Manning did all this in New York City playing for the Giants, one of the five biggest brands in NFL history, in that New York market, the New York media, behind those New York football Giants fans that are aggressive, rowdy, crazy, okay? This New York sports media is tough on players, okay? Eli Manning did nothing but shine and come through in the clutch every single time. And I'm gonna argue that Eli Manning is the best quarterback from the 2004 NFL draft class. The reason why is because I just believe he's better than Big Ben Roethlisberger, and I believe he's better than Phillip Rivers, and listen, I believe Big Ben Roethlisberger is the most talented quarterback from that draft class. He's not the best, he's the most talented, meaning that he was a better thrower of the football than Eli Manning. In, in Big Ben Roethlisberger's career, he was always in his prime, probably a top five quarterback. Eli Manning can never say that. But that does not mean he was better than Eli Manning. The reason why is because Eli Manning and Big Ben Roethlisberger are almost identical statistically, okay? When you look at touchdown passes, passing yards, they're almost identical, okay? If you just look at their overall career stats, guys, they're identical, okay? And Eli Manning has the same number of Super Bowls as Big Ben Roethlisberger, but I'm going to argue that Big Ben Roethlisberger probably should have won more Super Bowls. And Big Ben Roethlisberger is not a two-time Super Bowl MVP. The first year that Big Ben Roethlisberger won a Super Bowl, okay, he did not get the Super Bowl MVP. He had the worst career pass rating in Super Bowl history. You can make the argument that Big Ben Roethlisberger may have slightly gotten carried to that Super Bowl, okay? And listen, Big Ben Roethlisberger, he was in a division with Andy Dalton, Joe Flacco, and whoever was starting for the Cleveland Browns most of his career. Eli Manning, he's in a, he's in a division with the Dallas Cowboys, who've been well run the last couple years. The, the Washington Redskins, who, despite their dysfunction, have had some pretty good seasons in between the dysfunction, okay? And the Philadelphia Eagles, who just won a Super Bowl recently and have been pretty well run for most of Eli Manning's career. Eli Manning did, did his damage in the tougher division. And Eli Manning, he won two Super Bowls with way less talent than Big Ben Roethlisberger did, okay? And also, when is the last time Big Ben Roethlisberger ever beat Tom Brady? I'll wait. He's maybe be beaten Tom Brady twice in his career. You know, when you think of the rings that Big Ben Roethlisberger won, yes, he was a great quarterback, but you also have to look at the talent that Big Ben Roethlisberger had at his disposal. Big Ben Roethlisberger always had an elite running back, always had elite wide receivers, always had elite offensive lines, and always had a great defense for most of his career, and always had a better coach than Eli Manning. Eli Manning would kill to have the weapons Big Ben Roethlisberger's had, and the support and the teams that Big Ben has had. And the fact that Eli Manning has the same amount of Super Bowls and almost identical statistics of Big Ben Roethlisberger with the less amount of talent that he's had throughout his career, I think Eli Manning is a better quarterback than the Big Ben Roethlisberger. So again, bottom line, if you wanna say Roethlisberger's the better quarterback from the 2004 class, okay, that's fine, but either way, you cannot leave Eli Manning out of the Hall of Fame. Eli Manning is 100% a first ballot Hall of Famer. When you look at a guy that's top 10 in statistics, a guy that's one of the three best playoff quarterbacks I've ever seen, arguably the most durable quarterback I've ever seen, a guy that won two Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVPs, only, five, only four of their players have done that. He's one of five players to do that. And he did it for one of the biggest brands in sports history, New York City. He deserves to be celebrated. And anyone who thinks that Eli Manning is not a Hall of Famer, I just think you're flat out silly. That's just my opinion, though. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section.
Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Steve A. Smith, Shan Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just Flat out, just help me grow as a broadcaster. Help me learn. You know, get other people hit to this channel. You know, just share this channel with all your friends. Share this channel on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram. All that good stuff. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And once again, guys, just share this channel with everyone you know. Get everyone hipped and watching these videos. Get my voice out there and heard. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram. All that good stuff. It's been your boy, Jemiah McKinney, or you can just call me Juice. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in today. I really do. Have a God-blessed day. Stay motivated, you guys. And I'm out.